Hello, my name is Steve and I'm with Graphic and Design. In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to create this repeated pattern using Affinity Designer 1.8.3. So let's get started. Okay, so before we, we start, we need a new document. For that, we go to File, New. And I'm going to use my 1920 by 1080, like I do in all my videos, but you can use any dimensions that you want. And then just let's make sure that we have more or less the same settings. So let's go to view. Make sure that you have selected show rulers, show guides, show context toolbar, and show toolbar. Perfect, with that out of the way, Let's get started. Okay, so for this one, we will start first with a polygon. So I'm going here to my tools and I select my polygons. Make sure that you have selected six uh, sides. Then on your keyboard, hold command shift, click and drag to make a, make a proportional shape. It doesn't matter the size, we are going to change it later on. Let's make, let's convert it to curve. And let's choose something else uh, as a color. So we have something for later on to, uh, to see. I'm going to choose this red. And I'm going to hold Alt in the keyboard, click and drag two more times. So I got three instances of the same thing. I'm going to change the color. This color is just only for us to uh, identify what we are doing. I'm going to take the red one and I'm coming here with the green one and I'm going to position in a way that if you look, uh, if if I change this, you see it makes this diamond shape. Okay, so I'm going to click and select both of them and I'm coming here to my intersect and I'm going to click. So now I got this red diamond there. I'm going to click and drag this one until this um, Vertex, vertex is actually right in the middle. Make sure that you are snapping to the middle. If you don't see any of these red and green light uh, lines that you see when I'm actually snapping, make sure that you have selected your snapping. Come here to the toolbar at the top. Where is that uh, magnet symbol? You can click in there. You can see I got everything actually selected. Uh, the only thing is show snapping candidate. Uh, I don't that one because it just struck me. And I got a screen tolerance of 16. You can use anything, 16, 10, something like that will be fine. 16 gives me quite a good results to me. So just in case. So now we select these two and just subtract. So now we end up with this shape here. I'm going to click on my transform tool at the top and then I'm going to move it to the center. So I'm going to hit command J on the keyboard to make a duplicate. Grab the rotation tool, hold shift on your keyboard and rotate until it aligns with that border there. And now if you press command J, it makes that duplicate. And I'm going to change the color of this one and let's make it uh, something like that. No, I'm going to leave that one in red. I'm going to select that one and I'm going to make it like uh, bluish and this one, let's make it a little bit yellowish somewhere there. Something like that will be fine. The colors that you use is up to you. Um, usually it's something that is contrasting in between them. So I'm going to click and drag to select everything. Command G to make a group. And what I'm going to do is, uh, I'm first let's make it a little bit smaller, something like that. So now hold Alt, click and drag. You can release Alt. And I'm going to place some of these ones like this. Okay. So what happened is we need to create from this uh, square that is actually done in such a way that when you then repeat the this pattern, actually it creates the entire uh, pattern seamlessly. So what I'm going to do is I'm coming here to my tools and I'm going to select my rectangle tool. I'm going to click and drag 
the now let me change the color the color doesn't matter actually because you see then we're making a mask but just only to make sure that I'm aligning everything where it should be I'm making sure of that perfect so now is I'm going to select here on my layers panel uh, on my on my on my right I'm going to say uh, shift and select everything and command G to group them and now I'm going to take here this one and I'm going to move it as a mask so now you can see basically this shape now is uh, if if I repeat this it will create the pattern now quite a few things that happen here uh, is something that you need to notice and I found out this happened with Inkscape and with Illustrator as well so I don't know if it happened I think it's something that happens with the vector graphics kind of software if you see these uh, these shapes although they are actually perfectly aligned and snapped there is a white line in between them I don't know if you can see it from uh, on the video on YouTube but I can see it very clear here on on my computer and I tried several times, you know, using different things, trying to uh, avoid that uh, or to eliminate that, but it doesn't um, it doesn't happen. So something that uh, you can do, um, if you are going to use this as um, as a background or something on a web page, for example. Um, you can use just only this one and it's not very uh, tax uh, or will not tax your computer very much okay so one of the solutions is not perfect by the way first of all it's not perfect but it's something that i find out that it, it can help so if i duplicate this one once you'll see now that one start disappearing and if i do it sorry do it back again three times now there is nothing there okay uh, the problem is if i fill up my screen with this like as it is now it is going to be very taxing on, on the computer but if you are going to use as i said before uh in a in a web page for example you just click and drag and select everything export this image as it is and then when you put it on the on the website and you can use the function repeat on html and that is going to actually repeat all the time and it's going to give you the full canvas so to show you how everything actually should looks like let me um that one uh, delete that one i'm going to make it a little bit smaller so i'm going to start duplicating this one several times Sorry, I locked it and it's command J like this and I'm going to click and drag and make a selection uh, sorry alt D command J I think uh, up to there is fine now as you can see there is those white lines in in between them uh, those lines they shouldn't be there um shift command j g so they shouldn't be there as you can see it's actually snapping in there okay let me go back to the group so what i've done is i click and drag and select everything command g and then command j a couple of times and now those lines disappear by the way if you see those lines and you export this as a jpeg or png you will see those lines as well okay so that is one of the ways that i found out there is other ways i think you can put a you can put a, a full background in one color but uh all, all depends of the situation uh so anyway that is that was a quick little tip okay i think that's it for uh, today's video i hope you like it if you did please remember to subscribe to give it a thumbs up hit the notification bell so you don't miss any of my videos and please leave a comment in the section down below like always thank you very much for watching and i'm seeing you in the next video